Mm. It's smoky. You gotta get something smoked in the soup. I like how how it covers almost the whole space. You can kind of use ingredients that you have in your kitchen from cooking something else. You go, lady. Okay. Hello, my hungry friends. Today is Friday and kitchen's closed. Today on Kitchen's Closed, we're going to take you to uh, one of the big churches here in Szczecin. It is called the... It's the cathedral. The Szczecin Cathedral. Yes. And then... Now, oh. Okay, go well, ahead. Now, we're gonna, once we take you inside, obviously we're not going to talk because it is, an, it is a church that holds regular ceremonies and we want to be very respectful uh, while we're in the church. But it's a beautiful church and we really want you to see uh, one of the jewels of Szczecin. And then... And then we're going to find some hot food because it's freezing out. It's cold. It's very cold today. It's cold. And I, I think I saw a pierogi shop right next door, so... <laughs> You want to? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. go. All right, let's go, woman. Are you gonna film? Something? Yeah, I'm filming already. So, the church is. Hold on, the church is here, and the pierogi shop. So here's the beautiful church, and here's the pierogi shop. We're we'll gonna go see if we can't get some food in here. Anna's gonna go ask if we can film because some places don't like us to film. But next Friday we got a cool place to film for you. We already talked to them. They said it's awesome. So fingers crossed we can film in here. Thank you, Bardo. Do you know what you want? Soup. This is Cool place, huh? Yeah. So we're getting what? Getting some gulag Okay. Oh, all right, you got the goods. <laughs> we got the goods. What did we get? We will illegally use the table. They said we can. Yeah. Oh, we're so privileged. We got good stuff. All right. And. And what else? These will go home with us. Yeah. I have a package of pierogi with capusta. With cabbage and mushrooms. Nice. And then two, four, six, probably 12 or 14 in them. Uh huh. And the package of meat ones. Nice. For the grand total of $58.90. $58.90. So that is in dollars this amount. <laughs> it's important to uh, support your local businesses during this time of and crisis, isn't it? Dinner. Okay. That's good. 
pulas. Oh, it looks good. What's in it? Don't say goulash. Pork. So in goulash is pork. Marjoram. Uh-huh. So it's like a stew, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. That's really good. Mushrooms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pieces of taters. Taters, sausage. Mm hmm. This is really good. Uh oh. Carrots. I'll get it. Look down. And it landed face down. <laughs> Just like you want it. But most importantly, there's peppercorn. Uh, <laughs> Whole peppercorns, huh? <laughs> nice. Just like we like. What do you know about goulash? I know that uh, I know that I like goulash, and it's perfect for a cold, cold winter day. And uh, I know I like it. What kind do you prefer? Beef or pork? Oh, beef. I always prefer a beef goulash. For me, cow always wins. Except for in bacon. Bacon trumps everything. They're really hot. How do you make yours? We normally ate uh, beef goulash at home. Yeah? With uh, the ch like chunks of big chunks of stewing beef, Polish beef is not really good for like just searing and eating. It has to be stewed for a while. And I would always put like red peppers, red bell peppers in it, and onions, and I believe there's a recipe on my channel, Polish Kitchen. Awesome. I like her goulash a lot. This, is, this one's more traditional Polish kind of style. It's got mushrooms and marjoram, dried marjoram in it. Can you taste it? Mm hmm. And it's Here's really, that piece of bay leaf. Yeah. So you know it's homemade. It's where, where do you figure this is? Skin? Or mushroom? Let's play a game called Skin or Mushroom. <laughs> That's skin. <laughs> you don't eat skin? <laughs> there are so many other wonderful things to eat in here. I'll leave the skin out. You know what I mean? All right, we'll finish up eating and then we'll head inside the church. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. See you in a minute. The Cathedral Basilica of St. James the Apostle was built by the citizens of the city of Szczecin and modeled after the church of St. Mary in Lubeck. Remember, this was back when Szczecin was still German. It is the largest church in Pomerania and for many years after the Reformation was part of the Pomeranian Evangelical Church. But since World War II and the handing of Szczecin over to Poland after World War II, it has been rebuilt as a Roman Catholic cathedral. The church was established in 1187 and the Romanesque style building was completed in the 14th century. One of its two towers collapsed during a storm in 1456 and destroyed part of the church. Reconstruction lasted until 1503 and the entire church was remodeled based on a single tower hall church design. The church was destroyed again in 1677 during the Scanyan War and rebuilt between 1690 and 1693 in the Baroque style. In 1893, the church was remodeled again. However, the West Tower collapsed during a storm in 1894 and had to be rebuilt. This renovation was completed in 1901, leaving the church with a spire of 119 meters, 390 feet.
Air raids on the night of 16 August 1944 during World War II resulted in the collapse of the spire added in 1901 and extensive damage to other parts of the buildings. The north wall, all altars, and artworks inside were destroyed by the bombs and ensuing fire. Following the war, the government officials were reluctant to allow reconstruction of the church. However, a heritage conservator pointed out that the demolition of the remaining structure would be more costly than rebuilding it. In 1971, work began on the church and continued for three years. In 2006, another renovation commenced, which included new heating systems and flooring. Organs, to replace those removed before World War II bombing and never recovered, were constructed and the tower was strengthened so it could support a redesigned spire. Today the church serves as a cathedral of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Szczecin. That's our episode, friends. I hope you stayed warm. Thanks for tagging along with us again on the beautiful, sunny winter weather here in Szczecin, Poland. I hope you put Szczecin and Poland on your next trip calendar thingy. But for right now, just follow, like, and subscribe on the various channels and thingies. Hit the reminder button, the bell on YouTube, so that you know when we put out a new video by this lovely woman. Uh, remember to check out the merch store at www.polishyourkitchen.com and thanks for watching as always. And we'll see you back again 
on Monday when we go back to the kitchen and cook up some Polish food. Where it's warm. In the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you guys. Love